Now the issue of horse meat. Eating horses has been taboo for almost all of American history and with good reason. But recently, Congress has considered changing U.S. law to revive the American horse slaughter industry. Here's what horse meat advocate Dave Duquette had to say about it. Watch. Dave, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. Thanks for having me on. Um, so this, as you well know, <clears throat> strikes a lot of people, particularly in cities, as horrifying. Uh, why is it a good idea? It's, it's mainly a welfare issue, Tucker. It's, uh, the welfare of horses in the horse world is uh, it's gone downhill ever since. When you have something that doesn't have any value at all, which is right. what the unwanted horse is, they end up getting shipped to Canada or Mexico, and they just, they're not worth anything. Right. We have that problem with a lot of domesticated animals, certainly with cats and dogs. And unfortunately, we, we euthanize a lot of them. It's really sad. But we don't eat them because it feels like it's crossing the line because we're so close to them. Why are horses different? Horses are considered livestock in every state in the union. And right. they're, a th on average, a thousand pound animal. And as far as euthanizing them, you start euthanizing the 150,000 unwanted horses a year and you're talking about millions of pounds of toxic waste. Oh, so it's a question of disposing it and wh who would eat it? Well, we have uh, quite a market actually. When it, in 2011, when the riders came off the appropriations bill, my name was all over it because I was advocating for it. Uh huh. And the t I got, I, I was, contacted by the Tongan communities. Uh, there was one meat buyer in the south of in Florida that said he had 2.3 million Hispanics down there that would eat it every day if they could get it. I guess I many mean, ethnic groups. Right. But I mean, America has always been distinct in that we don't eat it and the French do. And it's it. I mean, to be totally blunt with you, it's been for more than a century kind of a a point of pride, a bragging point that, you know, you eat horses and we don't. Doesn't this kind of put us at the level of the French if we start doing it? That's kind of a, a total uh, misnomer or mm -hmm. however you want to put that. The, the Over 50 percent of the world's countries eat horse meat every day. If you oh. go around Europe, yes. the whole European Union, you'll find more traditional horse meat recipes than you will any other type of meat The from the Chinese, the Mongolians, the Japanese, the, it's all the Indonesian countries, uh, Africa, just about every country in Africa, if they can get a hold of horse meat, they, they'll eat it. South America, Mexico, if you've eaten tacos on the beach in Cabo, you've eaten some horse meat. Until 1985, there was, horse meat was available on the menu at the Harvard Faculty Club. And the only reason they quit doing it was because the new chef, the meat came to him flash frozen, and the new chef did not want to cook anything that had been frozen. That's the only reason it went off, and that was all the way to 1985. We have a, a huge history of horse meat consumption huh. in the United States, and the, the Humane Society of the United States will try to tell you that there, that's not so. Well, it is so. I mean, it doesn't take very much Googling and very much looking right. around to find that we did consume a lot of horse meat in the United States. I thought it was just Lewis and Clark in an emergency in a blizzard or the Donner Party or something. <laughs> I, had, I had no idea. And you're making me rethink that vacation in Cabo.